Hey, this is Diana and Janet with Two Moms Review, and today we're going to figure out the best way to get blood out of a mattress. Two Moms Review, here we go. So welcome back, thanks for joining us today, and if this is your first time to our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos about cleaning tips. Now this might look like a murder scene. Yeah, it's not it's though. Not. We got the blood on this mattress from a friend of mine who gets bloody noses. And while he was trying to get his bloody nose under control, he kindly agreed to um, let it drip on the mattress. So thank you to my friend for his blood donation for the sake of science. We have researched many popular solutions online that talk about how to get uh, blood out of a mattress. And what we wanted to do today was experiment with each of these different solutions and find out which one works the very, very best, the very quickest. And make sure that you check our video description where we'll have a link to our blog post which will have every single solution that we tried and the recipe. Solution number one that we're gonna try is our um, solution that we use to get pee out of a mattress. It works flawlessly for pee, so we wanna find out if that is gonna work just as well to get blood out. So that's the first one we'll do. We have a popular video about how to get pee out of a mattress. If you wanna watch that one, we're gonna put a link to it at the end of this video. Here's our first solution. It is a solution of baking soda, hydrogen peroxide, and dish detergent. Okay, let's get started. This is my favorite household cleaner, and you just buy it, so let's see if that works. This is a paste made of hydrogen peroxide, lots of cornstarch, and salt. And you're supposed to put it on and leave it on for 30 minutes. Our next solution is meat tenderizer and water. Not this kind of meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizing powder actually contains natural enzymes that can break down protein at a molecular level. So not only does it make meat more tender, but it's also a good protein-based stain remover. Next we have a solution of hydrogen peroxide, liquid dish detergent, and salt. <laughs> this solution is very simple. It's just baking soda and water. Our spray bottle isn't working, so we're just gonna have to dab it on. So invest in a better quality spray bottle than a cheap one like this one. Okay, we are saturating the area. This is a solution of ammonia with water. It's cool water. And they say to blot it. Some is coming off for sure. Not a fan of the smell. Just as a reminder, never ever ever mix ammonia with bleach, ever. That actually makes mustard gas. So far, this is working pretty well because look how much is coming off. Next, we're gonna try a bleach pen. You can use regular bleach, but I found this pen to be wonderful because it's kind of a gel and it stays put. We're just gonna color it on. I have used this for dirt on a mattress and it worked pretty well. <laughs> Not looking so hot for blood. The next one is just to add baking soda on the stains, followed by some white vinegar. We don't wanna use a colored vinegar and introduce more stains. <laughs> Ooh, it fizzes. I hope that's a good sign. I hope it is too. It smells like vinegar. It's like Easter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh, this one's fun. I hope it works. Okay, we've let each of our solutions sit for 30 minutes. And then what we did is we went and we took a little bit of water and a cloth and we scrubbed a little bit. And I'm gonna show you our results. And it's not what I expected. This is baking soda and vinegar. I've scrubbed it a little bit here. Here I didn't scrub it. I'm not that impressed. I don't think that worked that well. This is baking soda and water. I think it did okay. This, I didn't scrub it here. This is where I scrubbed a little bit. I can still see it though. This right here is meat tenderizer. Here's where I scrubbed it. I didn't scrub it here. I don't think that worked at all. Cornstarch, hydrogen peroxide, and salt. It worked okay. Hydrogen peroxide, um, dish soap and salt. 
Not at all. Um, over here, here's bleach. This was liquid bleach. Liquid bleach didn't work. The bleach pen, maybe a little bit on the edges, but I was not that impressed. Here's the OxyClean. I really thought OxyClean was gonna do the best. It's okay, but it's still, it's still there. Here is the hydrogen peroxide baking soda and dish soap. This is our go-to solution for pee, and it does not work for blood. Oh, boo. Now, I was super surprised to find that ammonia and water worked the best, okay? This is where the spot was, right there. I'd say I can still see a little bit, maybe right there, but, uh, but by far, that one did the very best. Um, it, when it dried, it did form a ring around it a little bit. We just dabbed that with a wet cloth and it cleaned up the ring very easily. So, by far, ammonia was the number one best cleaner for blood on a mattress. So thanks for watching our video on how to get blood out of a mattress. Um, we're pretty excited that we found the very, very best one. And we're gonna do a video next about this one solution, how to do it, what the exact recipe is, step by step. So watch for that video coming up next. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. And thanks so much for watching.